So I thought I'd come back in my video today showing you on the um, heated propagator that I've shown in previous videos. So I'll just give you a quick look at what you're going to need. First of all, this is a 7 watt heat pad which comes with a variable temperature, variable temperature controller. And usually they come with this little adapter from an EU plug, but if not, you can pick these worth 50 pence on eBay. Uh, the heat mat itself was £2.97. I'll be leaving links underneath. Next of all, uh, just a basic propagator. This was £5 for this propagator to Stuart Essentials from a, a local DIY store. I'm not going to say which one, but uh, it was £5. I'll try and I will leave a link uh, if I can find one that's off a maybe another store or I'll just leave the one to the actual store, it doesn't really matter. But um five pair of propagator for the bottom of the lid. And the good one about this propagator, if you can see, there's a little dent out there which you can tell it's already made uh standard in the factory so that it can fit a wire through to take a heat pad underneath. Uh, these are about £25 for a heated one of these. So at the moment the cost is uh, really cheap, just under £10, so it's not very dear on cost wise. Um, a bit of polystyrene, this is just used over um, Christmas packaging, so just making use of that. If you need to cut it, the best way is to get a hot knife and just cut all the way around. And I've just cut these corners down here now so you can see it a bit clearer. Uh, a few strips of silver tape, I haven't actually got that many left but um, I'm going to use what I've got and then just some black insulation tape or any kind of tape really. Uh, if you don't have the polystyrene, you could generally just use card or something like that. Uh, old cardboard box or something, but polystyrene will help keep the heat um, going up through the propagator rather than going back at the bottom and uh, wasting electricity. So first of all, I'm going to get my propagator here, make sure I know which side's which. Uh, I'm going to get my heat pad and I'm going to try and make sure that the label is facing down. And as you can see it does fit in there, a pretty good fit to be honest. Uh, once you've got the polystyrene on that and the tape around it, it'll, it won't exactly look like a professional job but it still makes a, a decent heat propagator and I'll show you this in use once I made this video. Uh, these do retail about 25 to 30 pounds, uh, the ones that I've looked at. And as I say, we're under 10 pounds at the moment, so it's a pretty good deal. So that's the base done, I'll uh, give you a quick look. Ideally you'll want to um, use a bit more tape but my roll just run out. But if you taped all the way around here, uh, as you're using the black and slash tape it doesn't actually look that bad. But if you wanted to fine tune it all around these edges, if you just got a, a sharp Stanley knife, you could trim that and all the edges match up trim, which is what I did in my last one. And probably what I will do with this one once I've um, found myself another roll of tape. So, once you pop your lid on, literally it's as simple as that. Um, 
but I've looked about on the internet and I haven't really seen anybody make a, a DIY heat pad. I mean, this uses seven watts of electricity when it's on full, but you've got the on and the off, and that's the various low to high. And like I said, I've had this heat pad form for three pound. You literally can't complain. It's everything you need for three pound. So that's about it for this. Um, I'll just get this plugged in and I'll put the um, thermostat on there and I'll show you that it's all working and that it's getting to temperature. So, so I've had this on um, the temperature on full now for about, I'd say about five minutes, if that. And the temperature now, it's got to about 26 degrees, 27 degrees. Uh, this will heat up till it gets to about 32 to 35 degrees. I generally have mine on just slightly under halfway and that gets me about 24 or 25 degrees and that's a pretty nice temperature it's not too hot to touch but you can definitely feel there's a bit of warmth there and if you feel underneath the tray there's absolutely no warmth at all so it shows that the layer of polystyrene underneath is keeping this working and stopping the heat from going down and all the heat is just coming up and rising into the seedlings so if you're looking for a cheap heated propagator, this is your one. Under £10 for the materials, you seriously can't go wrong. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, take care.